Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. In this video, I'm going to be doing another one brand look. I'm doing another full face of Barry M makeup. Let's just get straight into it. Uh, so again, I'm going to go in with the colour correcting wand, the yellow one that eradicates dark circles. And I'm going to use this as an eye primer, seeing as I have a lot of purple veins going on my eyelid. I'm going to go in with the Fall in Love eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to use the creamy white shade up here and I'm actually going to use that to set the concealer down instead of using a powder just because it worked when I practiced it. Okay, so we're going to go again with the Fall in Love eyeshadow palette. Out of the shade, it looks quite yellow in the pan, but it's actually more of an orangey sort of colour when it goes into the eye. I'm going to start by working this through the crease and I'm also going to kind of bring it down each side, sort of like outlining a halo eye. So next I'm going to go in with the red colour here. And I'm going to work that in a similar area, but like further down. Now I'm going to go back to the yellow colour corrector and I'm going to do a sort of cut crease, but in a halo eye sort of format. Just getting some of the concealer on the back of my hand and then using a little concealer brush. I'm going to carve out a crease. I kind of want to keep it in the centre, but I kind of want to bring it out. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. So I'm now going to go in with the white Dazzle Dust. This is 107. It's literally like white, but it's got kind of like pinky, purpley hues to it. It's really cool. And I'm going to place this over where I've just done that cut crease. I was going to use a glitter glue, but actually I think we might be alright without it. So I'm going to go back in with the red in the palette and just kind of blend it a bit. Okay, and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'm going to go to the Illuminating Highlighter palette and I'm just going to use the white shade just to go under my brow bone. I'm going to leave the eyeshadow up that for now. It's alright, I don't know if I'm mad about it, but it'll do. For eyeliner, I'm going in with the Bold Waterproof Eyeliner in black and I'm just going to do my water lines with this. For mascara I'm going to go in with the lash primer and then the feature length mascara. Okay, so let's move on to the base. So once again, I don't have a primer, so we just go on to foundation. Actually, skip that, we'll use some colour correctors because my skin is having a bit of a temper tantrum at the moment. I've got some blotchiness going on. I'm just using the yellow colour corrector under my eyes and then I've got a green one to use on my blotchiness and my spots. going in with the neutralizing redness correcting wand i'm just going to put this on my nose on any spots and blotchiness around my face so this time for foundation i'm going to go in with that all night long medium coverage foundation stick in the shade milk i have got a full review of this up alongside there concealer I'll put a little card up here if you want to watch that um, I quite like this foundation it's got a really nice finish the colors very good for me it wears pretty well um, my one issue with it is you do have to drag it a bit it's not the most like seamless like 
the Makeup Revolution foundation sticks, very like easy to blend and seamless. This one you have to drag quite a bit, which isn't a huge issue because it does look fine in the end once you have blended it out. It's just, you know, I know some people don't like that sensation. Uh, it's more on the light to medium coverage side, which is fine for me because I personally like all levels of coverage. But if you're the kind of person that wants a full coverage base, this probably isn't a product for you. But I do quite like this foundation stick. So I'm just going to smear a lot of this on my face and then I'll probably build up a second layer as well. So I'm now going to go in with the all night long full coverage concealer, also in the shade Milk. And I'm just going to pop a bit of this under my eyes, on my nose and on my blemishes. Just for some more coverage. And I really like this concealer. Very underrated. Pretty sure this product is discontinued. But this is the eyeshadow by Berry M. Berry M? <laughs> this is eyeshadow by Berry M in the shade Mushroom. And I've had this for like years now. It's just like a really like grey brown colour. It looks more grey in the pan, but it goes in the face more brown. But this is a really good, like, cool toned contour shade for, like, pale skin. Um, I don't know, you might be able to find this on the internet if you looked really thoroughly on, like, Amazon or eBay. But it's definitely not on Superdrug or on the Barry M website anymore. But I am just going to do a little bit of contouring before I set my face with this. Nothing too much. I find that if you, like, do your contour before you set your face, it's going to look more like natural and like blended, whereas if you kind of do your powder then do contour, it kind of comes out a bit more harsh. So sometimes I like to do it before I set my face. So I'm just going to contour my nose a bit, uh, my cheekbones, a bit on my forehead and under my jawline. Or my jawline under it, who knows. I'm going to go in with the Ready Set Smooth Powder just to set my face down now. I'm going to go in with the Afterglow Light Bronzer just to warm up my face. Again, for highlight, I'm going into the Illuminating Highlighter Palette and I'm going to stick with the white goldish shade here. And I'm just going to highlight the usual areas. For eyebrows, I'm just going to use the gel on its own. This is the Take A Brow Shape and Define Brow. So we're just going to use this on its own. Go for a bit more of a natural brow today. It is the brown one, of course, just going to get rid of a lot of the excess of this. So back to the eyes, I'm going to again go in with the yellow shade and the Fall In Love palette. Yellow, more like orange. And I'm just going to place some of this on my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with the red as well and just smudge that closer to the lash line. I'm going to go back to the dazzle dust and just pop this in my inner corner. And I'm going to go back in with the lash primer and the feature length mascara on my bottom lashes. off I'm going in with one of the lip kits this is I believe this one is called avant-garde it comes with a lip liner and then a matte me up matte liquid lip paint this is kind of like a dark metallic plum color so I'm going to start with the lip liner
I'm going in with the liquid lipstick. I tried this the other day and like I would say that once it dries down that kind of metallic thing doesn't really show up so well it is more matte looking but it is still a very pretty vampy plum colour. I do quite like it and I do quite like the formula of these. Okay, so that's everything. I'm just gonna sort my hair out, clean up any mess, and show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. I think it turned out pretty cute in the end. So this is just an example of what you can achieve just using Barry M Cosmetics, and I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's definitely a brand I would recommend. So that's all from this video, and I will see you for my next one. Goodbye.